In this video, I am going to share with you some of my favorite features aboard the Privateer Trawler 50, a remarkable twin engine, still liveable explorer yacht, expertly crafted in the Netherlands by Privateer Yachts and designed by Van Eesch Naval Architecture. Currently listed for sale with the Valk Yacht Brokers, this exceptional vessel powered by twin John Deere 4045AF M85 M1 engines boasts a comfortable cruising speed of 7 knots and a maximum speed of 9 knots. Kitted out with state-of-the-art Simrad technology at the helm and spacious living spaces, including a fully equipped galley and comfortable sleeping quarters, this steel trawler yacht caters to your every need on the water. With an impressive fuel capacity of 5,330 litres and a range of approximately 1,400 nautical miles at 7 knots, this liveable boat is ready to embark on a medium distance voyage with a suite of practical features to ensure the utmost comfort. If you'd like to check out the full yacht tour, then make sure you head to the link in the video description. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you some of my favourite features aboard what I think is a very special boat. I love the huge passerelle, conveniently located on the uh, starboard side. Really thick door on the transom as well. Really good build quality. I love the fact that you've got a separate lazarette from the engine room as well. And obviously you've seen the main engine room uh, on the main tour. Considering how old this boat is, the engine room is immaculate, um, which I think says a lot about the way this boat has been looked after by her current owner. I expected to go in the engine room and find it um, a little bit more well used, should we say, in terms of how it appears. But when you're down there, it's like the boat is hardly used, but it is used and that's the key. The owner has really looked after this boat. I also love the really wide side decks and this bit here as well makes you feel like you're on a boat that is kind of twice the size uh, of this 50 footer. I love the fact you've got the side access gates and just how wide the side decks are. You don't have to pivot or twist or turn as you make your way aft or forward which I think is a really good thing. Really easy access to the anchor and the deck gear. And of course, those forward raking windows. Always a big fan of the forward raking windows and I think it really gives the trawler yacht a sense of identity. Uh, again, this is just my own personal opinion. I love the fact that you've got three skylights here on the foredeck, the raised area, which allows lots of natural light into the living spaces. Uh, let's just head back aft along the port side. Again, look at the engineering and the build of the access gate really high quality i mean this boat is absolutely immaculate as well make sure i don't fall down into the lazarette i really like the living area in here really because of the situation in terms of where the galley is located again it's the kind of galley i'd expect to find on a bigger boat really the layout as well in general uh, makes you feel like you're on a bigger boat, that's for sure. Um, I like the L-shaped seating area opposite the uh, retractable TV there. And those big windows allowing not, lots of natural light in. Now obviously this wouldn't be my favourite bits without telling you that of course the wheelhouse is one of my favourite bits. Um, again, the amount of space up here is really impressive. I love the helm station, uh, the midships position. I do like those small, uh, sporty looking wheels as well. Uh, personally, if this was my boat, I'd probably prefer to have a seat here, just so I could sit and admire the view. But obviously when you're motoring an autopilot, uh, you don't necessarily always need to be sat at the helm position. But yeah, if I sit here on the L-shaped seating, you can imagine the motoring along. Great view thanks to the big windows. 
person at the helm doing their thing as you're sitting back and relaxing. Easy access up onto the flybridge as well. Just turn left and head aft and here you are. And it's a really big flybridge as well. It makes really good use of the space with the bimini up here as well if you need it. It's been a bit rainy here today so if you were out in the water and enjoying the view you probably would have it up in these kind of conditions. But yeah, I've been wanting to have a look in the wheelhouse of a privateer for some time. So it's great to actually get someone. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. Display panel there as well. I do like the accommodation, the, the way it's configured on here. And also, how much space you've got in the companion ways. You know, I can kind of stretch out in here. So there's plenty of space, a lot of headroom in here as well, in the forward cabin. Look at that headroom. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this segment of my favorite parts of this boat. Um, if you haven't already, please give the video a like because it helps its reach on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you've got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then you can get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well to stay up to date uh, with what I'm doing and where I'm going. And if you need sea safety equipment like this, then make sure you check out my Amazon store. Uh, there's some links for that in the video description. So, it's been an honour to bring this boat to you, to show you her on the exterior and the interior. Really interested to know what you think. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. If you have a spare moment, feel free to leave me some constructive feedback in the comments. This is a new format for me and I'm really interested to know what you think. So I can hone these videos to make them the best they can be. So if you've got a moment, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to check it out. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with some stunning footage of this fantastic boat and I'll look forward to seeing you aboard on the next one.